everyone, it's Billy. Welcome to Billy Home and Creations. Today I'm going to do something different that I haven't done ever, and that's going to be a deep pour. And I'm going to stick to the Halloween theme with just one more um, project for Halloween, and I hope you like it, and I hope you liked my tray and my bat uh, wall hanging. So today I am going to use this little bag. This little bag mold that I've seen many artists use, you know, for uh, fish, fish in a bag, or I've seen mermaids in a bag. Um, but I'm going to use this mold here, and this I got from Interresin. And this one here is a bottle, and it comes with a cork plug, but it's a bottle mold, and I got this from Loresi. But I've seen these on other websites too. And I'll see if they're in Amazon and I can put that on my storefront. This one I believe is in my storefront already. But sticking with the fish theme, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to do ghost fish. So look at this little goldfish right here. Now I got a bunch of goldfish from Amazon. And uh, I think there's a... 50 in a package. They're in my storefront. And the tails move. And they were the closest looking thing to a goldfish I could find. And I ordered them some time ago. But what I did was I painted these white with little spray paint. And I painted their eyes black and their mouth black. So they're going to be my little ghost fish. Um, I did try one to do a skeleton of a fish on it. It didn't work out right. I couldn't make clear lines because of the grooves and patterns in the body of this fish. So I'm just going to leave them white uh, with, you know, black ghost eyes and a black mouth. So I have two of those. And I took some plastic greenery that I probably picked up at the dollar store. And I spray painted a little black. This has got some lavender buds on it. They're not real purple. I might add a little purple paint to them and brighten them up. But I just took spray paint on a few sprigs and painted them black. So we're going to use that inside. And I have some reindeer moss, which I got from Michaels. And this is the greenest they had, a real bright, bright lime green to stick with the Halloween theme. Now the resin I'm going to use is a first for me. I'm going to try liquid glass. And this is a deep pour resin, uh, two to four inches uh, pour at a time. And um, I'm looking at the, the directions. It's a two to one. So I have a smaller jug of the B versus the larger jug of the A. So I'm not going to make a bunch at this time because looking at these molds, I just want to come to the top of the bag with some clear and of course we're doing this upside down so I'm gonna do a little clear which I figure is about an ounce to fill the top of the bag and then for the jar or the bottle I'm just gonna fill up to the top of the neck of the bottle so I'm thinking I'm going to start with one and a half ounces and being a two to one I've got my little measuring cups here my pharmacist was so kind to give them to me with the measurements. So I'm going to do one half of an ounce of the B and one full ounce of the A. And that's the liquid glass. So let me go ahead and put my protective gear on, my mask, my gloves. I'm going to mix up a little resin. And then the first step is just to pour into these two molds. And then once that cures, I'll go on to the next color and we'll start filling it up with our goodies. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I was just looking at uh, the instruction sheet. I mixed a one and a half ounces and it says curing time is uh, 12 to 24 hours in ideal conditions, but it could take up to 72 hours uh, to completely cure. So um, anyway, 
this is a not a thick pour and it sure is very clear there's very few bubbles in this and it was sure thin I was so used to pouring thicker resin you know and when I poured the bee out I'm out I about lost it because it came out really quickly but uh, anyway I might take the heat gun to that real quick pop a few of those bubbles but doesn't look like there's very many and we'll go ahead and pour and then we can I'll wait until it sets up before we do another coat with some color in it so let me get my molds here like I said I just hope I have enough just to come to the top of the mouth of this jar but I want to be sure to come right to the top of where the bag is cinched here so I'm just going to um, my molds are clean I'm just gonna now this one stands pretty secure this one's a little wobbly I might have to well, I guess we'll see what happens when the resin's in. So I'm just going to pour. Oh, I see a few flakes in the mold. But it's not going to matter. We're going to be dark. Maybe I better stand and see where I'm at. Just get that in there. Oh my goodness, come on. Okay. Okay. That's what I wanted. Now let's go here. And I don't need that much. That's right to the top of the jar. Well, I guess I can add a little more to the jar. Just a little more to the jar. Goodness, I'm going to have more than I need left. I guess we'll bring the bag down a little bit so there's, it looks like there's air in the bag. I'm still going to have plenty of room for my fish. Let's see where this is. Oh, I'm good. I'm just going to add that in there. Scrape this out a little bit. And I will watch my bubbles. And gosh, it might be tomorrow morning when I get to do another pour to this. Or... We'll see how how it goes this evening it's it's late afternoon here in idaho today and i've been out in the yard trying to get ready we're supposed to get frost this week our first frost so i've been in the yard trying to get things put away my little yard goodies and the hoses cleaned out and dried out and just things like that we're getting ready for winter so, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. See you in a bit. Bye. This morning, as I said, with this black spray paint, painted uh, plastic. Oh, God. Good morning, everybody. This is Billy. Listen, um, this has sat overnight. The clear that we poured in to both these molds. And the only thing I did this morning without you was to take some of this greenery and I put a little purple paint on the tips of these florals here. And I just did a dry brush, dry brush, dry brush using some acrylic paint. And this happened to be a folk art fabric paint in purple. And so that gives it a little glisten. And then... I left the other one alone. This one's just plain black. And the third one, I took a little bit of my Americana orange acrylic paint and I just dry brushed a little on the leaves. I don't know how well that'll show up, but it'll give us a little orange and purple and then green with the uh, reindeer moth. So I'm a bit nervous about this. I also, took our little fish here, a little ghost fish, and I tied some fishing twine on a pop stick. I can just get rid of this real quick, this excess. 
I hope I don't cut the wrong one. Let me double check here, see where I'm at. Okay. I can get rid of this. There we go. You can see me. Let's cut that off. So this is clear uh, fishing line, 14 pound test. Happened to have it in my jewelry drawer, jewelry making drawer. So I went ahead and I UV resined it to the stick and the fish. So sits at a slant, but I raised him to where he's not quite in the middle, but not quite at the top, a little closer to the bottom. And now I'm going to do the same thing with this one. So now I've got resin on my hands. I don't know what I touched. I hadn't touched anything yet. I feel sticky. Okay, let me just wipe that off. Um, yeah, so I have a little red Solo cup and a little clear plastic cup. Plastic? Did I say plastic? Plastic cup. Oh, gosh. Anyway, I'm going to put a little UV resin just in here because I don't need a lot. Put a little bit in. And I guess I should have my gloves, but let me get this fish settled in first before I do that. I took my fishing line and I tied a couple of knots here at the one end just to give it some substance, something to glue it to. Now we all fumbles here. Make a couple. I think I did it three times or four. Don't need much. I just need to have something to glue that to. Let me cut this excess off. And I am going to dip it right into this UV resin. It's a little bit on there. I'm going to turn my fish upside down and try to go right, right in the belly with that and press it down with a little stick here. You might need more. Let me get a little more on my stick. That will add here. I need a little puddle. There we go. Take my little UV flashlight and see if that will hold for me. I should have it straight up, but the line, I mean, I couldn't, unless I propped up the fish and did this, that, and the other, I just thought we'll just do it this way. And if it's slanted, it's slanted. There we go. But I might put some on the other side of this line so it's more in the middle. Like that. Let's do this again for just a sec. And this won't be seen or should not be seen through the resin. And this morning I'm questioning myself, thinking, should I do a clear resin? I don't want a clear resin. I need a little blue, but I don't want to um, lose our fish in any dark colors. So we'll just try to be as translucent like water as we can be. There. Oh, and I didn't cover my resin. That's what I do. I had my solo cup for to cover my little resin cup when I use the lamp. But I have to remember that next time. So. We're going to do this mold here and I'm going to drop him in. I don't know if I told you because the the tail moves on these little goldfish that I super glued them so they would stay in one place. I'm not sure I told you that, but I'm going to just wrap this stick and I'm going to have to stand up to see how far I want that fish. 
I think maybe about there. I'm going to go down to, I just stuck its fin in the resin. Darn it. Maybe a little more, a little higher like that. And I want his tail. He barely fits in there. This little guy barely fits. So I'm going to try to do a knot right here. But this, oops. Oh, now he really dropped in there. Shoot. Oh, well, at least it's clear. Come on, you. It was all thumbs. A little more. Come on, go. on up a little more turn them this way get my stick and kind of move him I have to have my stick this way all right I am just going to put some UV resin right here and do it that way because I I'm afraid I'll drop it again if I try to do a knot. Get the lid off of here. I'm wobbling, excuse me. That should hold, that's a good drop. A little lamp. Hold that there. And I think I might do the same. I'm not quite sure with the greenery. But we do need to get that in here too. And I'm not going to worry about glitter or anything sparkly. I'm going to use some black uh, seed beads for the bottom. No seashells, just some moss. And uh, we're going to call that good. There we go. There we go. Now I can cut this off. Get rid of that piece. All right. Now, I'm going to have to hold them up to the light to see. Oh, where's my flashlight? He looks about straight in there. I can't tell him upside down, but that's going to have to do. Okay. I'm going to position him like that. Turn him just a little bit. And he's going to move once I get going on these greens, I'm sure. But let's first cut off. I use wire snippers for some of this greenery. And cut off a few of the orange ones. I think I did four of them. The straight ones. And I don't know that we'll have room for a lot of purple. But I'm going to take two at a time. Just pull this off. Oh, maybe. No, I can't pull it off. The paint made it stay on there. So I'm just cutting. There's wire in there. A couple of those. A couple right here. Okay. Oh, should maybe have three, you know. You're supposed to do things in ones and threes, odd numbers. Oh, I should have saved the end piece. Well... All right, and we've got this pretty fluffy one. Take a small one. Let's see. That's got three. That's pretty small up there. When I use greenery, I like to take from the bottom, actually, so it doesn't mess up the tips up 
on the top of your greens in case you need to use it for something different. So I'm just going to go with one of those. All right. Now, here we go. I'm going to need my couple of sticks. I need two more sticks, I think. Be safe. And I'm going to... I think the thin ones we can slide in between everything, so we'll leave them till last. Now, I want to see how far these will go. I'm going to have to move my fish anyway. I could go all the way down with that one, I'm pretty sure. And probably same on this one. What if I split it like that? Glued them that way. Oh, I could on the fish. No, I don't want to do it on the fish. I'm going to do it on a different stick. It's not going to make no mind. All right. Get yourself over there. Let's just try it out. That's all I can say. We'll go with... Pull that little plastic piece out of there. See it? Just a little down. Get rid of that. All right. Now, remind me to cover my UV resin. If I need to put it in there, but for this one, I don't think I need to put it in there. Let's see if I lay a cup or a stick like that, that would work. So I need one of these about here, I think. It's a lot. I wonder if I can do two at a time. We'll put some there on that one. Where's that little fuzzy one? Yeah, I don't know how that'll work because I cut the tip off, darn it. But, oh well, let's just do one. Let's go over here. I'll mess with that. Come over here, cover my lid to my resin. To hold that up straight. Okay, so we're going to cut these off later. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Okay, I have to stop now and try narrating because uh, I spent over 25 minutes Working on this part of my project, I had to take uh, my India ink. I took three colors, my aqua, uh, aquamarine, teal, and a green. So here I'm starting out with the green. I didn't know how much resin I needed, for one thing, so that tells me to be sure and put rice in your molds and see how much resin you need for a project. Or once it's complete, weigh it, and then you will know exactly how much resin you need to pour the next time you use that mold. So here I'm mixing my three colors, probably an ounce in each, thinking that was going to uh, fill these two molds. Well, that was definitely not the case. So I've got my little fish in there, straightening them out, and I'm pouring my green first, I believe. Getting them lined up, and you know they're going to move when I try to get the greenery in. So, I don't know what I did there, but took one out and get, put him back. Um, I didn't let my colors set. I just started going darker and darker. Well, as you see there, the two colors were not enough. Mixed up more resin. Added more resin. Continued to fiddle, fiddle. More resin, that was clear this time. <laughs> okay, I, I realize I'm short. Let's make some more. Okay, we're back to the aqua. 
And these are my India inks. Not working. Oh, let's make it a little darker or, or match it with what we had the first time. Not sure. But anyway, I had to cut and speed this part of the video up because it was just ridiculous. And oh, did I make a spill? Oh, save every bit you can. Yes, because you don't have enough. That's obvious. Oh, let's add some more clear here. Oh, we got we, we're diluting it. That's what that's what I was doing. I was diluting it there with the clear. Oh, will my greens fit? Yes. Let's just start putting the greens in. Okay. Well, then see how I had them spaced. I realized I had them in the wrong mold. So now I'm going to break the stick off because I'm too rough with it. So uh, you'll see that pop off here shortly. Mixing and stirring. Who knows what kind of position the fish is in by now. Anyway, we'll add some more to this one. Poke, poke, poke. Get it down in there. The fish is to the side. I can see he's upside down. We'll push him back in there. Oh, what are we going to do now? There's the broken stick. Well, that didn't work. Oh, now we're just going to stick it in with our hands and, oh my goodness, Billy, let's get the long ones in there. I'm, oh, I still don't have enough resin. Let's go blue. Let's go a little darker with the blue now. I think I have to make more. Oh, we're going to fill it up with greens. Oh, goodness. Then I think we're going to make more resin. Is this going to be blue or is this going to be... Can't tell. Okay, we'll just get more greens in there. Just stuff them up. Oh, this was crazy, I'm telling you. I actually thought about not even releasing this video. And this is my first voiceover, so we'll see how that goes. Um, oh, yes, I made my resin. What are we doing now? Okay, we're doing blue. Did I make enough? The question is, did I make enough blue? I don't know. Oh, we're going darker. Yep, poke, poke, add blue. Still didn't make enough to fill that. So, it's back to making more resins. I lost count as to how much resin I had to make. Oh, this was just something. Okay, what are we doing now? I think we're going, oh, more blue. Made more, let's get more blue in there. Still not to the top. Oh, back to more resin. What are we doing now? Is this the purple? Oh, no. The purple was a mistake. Oh, purple was a mistake. I'm going to add some May spring. Oh, gosh. Diamond dust into that. All right. Well, you can see the blue is already dark. And now adding more greeneries and the purple. Look at how dark that became. Big mistake there. So I hope you learn from this. I'm going to try this project again next Halloween. But I will do it completely different. And this was a lesson well learned. So, oh, oh yes, the moss. We have to add the moss in now. Can't forget that. We need some kind of color. Oh, more greenery. Let's just use it up. I just look at this and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, Billy, what in heaven's name. Hi, everyone. Whew, I'm back. It's morning. And all I need to do is remove everything that's sticking out the bottom and pour my last little layer. And we are going to be using uh, seed beads for that. So, get my little scissors here. And we're just going to trim this. If I can see where the line is to trim this, get this stick off. Come on. Oh, it's stuck to the grass or the moss. I'm just going to go down as far as I can. Get rid of that. The water looks pretty dark. Um, it's hard to say if I'll have any tint of any other color I put in there. Lesson learned, but I think. It all went to the bottom, but we'll be okay. Let me turn this, and it's still pretty soft. Get this one out a little better. So I mixed up 
three ounces of my liquid glass. And, you know, I guess I could have done a different resin on the bottom, but I thought, well, for my first time, I'm not going to experiment with that. I'm just going to stick with what I originally started with. Push that down. Get this one a little more closer to the bottom. Oh, I'm I'm <laughs> curious. I mean, I am so curious to see how this is going to turn out. It's going to be. It's either going to be amazingly great or it's going to be a total flop. But you know, I can still see the little fish's face on the side of the mold. Where's that one going? Well, it went down. So um, that's that's good news, I would think, right? I'd turn it up so you could see, but it's still so um, fluid that I really am afraid to do that. Get this stick off. Trim this stick. This off, come on. Okay. Yeah, I love these little molds, especially the bag. And then I saw so many artists so do so many, you know, different things. But mainly, they all pertain to fish. And I just wanted to do fish, but a different kind of fish. Come on. Oops. So this will be the end of my Halloween little segment. And I'm not quite sure. I guess I sh could go into fall and then try to figure out what I'm going to show you for Christmas. All right. One more. God, I just saw a bubble come up. It's pretty fluid. Okay, what's this? I could hardly see that one. But it'll be dark and murky water, spooky water. Hope I'm not disturbing the resin too badly. Come on, off. Just clean my little scissors. I'm gonna poke that down. Okay, I'm just going to start a little at a time. Get a little resin in here. And I know that's more than I need. And I'm going to mix the beads in this resin and get the bubbles out if I can. Just douse it. Douse them as best I can. You see me? I'm right over here. Whoops, what's that? Don't know. Get out. I'll have to show you. I made a bead haul a couple weeks ago. Like I didn't need more beads, but I couldn't resist. The temptation was there. My neighbors are moving and... The gal had a bunch. I mean, we're talking buku beads. So now I'm thinking, oh, what am I going to do with these? I'll just use them for accents, I guess. Look at those bubbles come out. Let's get a little alcohol on that. Can you see that? Yes, you can. Okay. Ooh, magic. There'll still be more. I knew I made more resin than I needed, but uh, we're going to add some more of these because I want the bottom solid beads. And I thought about a few seashells, and then I got to thinking more about the seashells, and I was going to try to find a top and bottom that I could maybe hook together. 
and uh, you know have partially opened with googly eyes sticking out that's another thought it's another thought for next year but didn't happen so we're just gonna have the green moss whoops look at the bubbles come out of those tiny tiny holes magic okay Still coming up. We'll give it a, a little bit, a minute or so. I'll dump them in. One more time. Okay. A little stir. Oh, I'm going to grab a little spoon, plastic spoon, and just try to get beads and not so much resin if I can I don't know well we'll just do it get those on there and that little bit of uh, may spring what was it the dazzling diamonds I don't know if those are gonna show don't know a lot of things about this project. That might be too many. Let's see if they'll settle. And I can always sand the bottom if need be. Try to get them pushed into the side. I don't know if you can hear little peeps in the background because outside <laughs> as we speak my friend Dusty is here he's been helping me with so many things around the yard and stuff he was my boy's good friend growing up so I've known him many many years he's a wonderful young man and he's out there uh, sanding some projects for me but he brought his babies with him today and they are baby goslins oh my gosh i will have to take a shot of those uh and add to this video so you can see them oh my god he's had them two weeks and they've like quadrupled in size he says and they follow him around like he's mama so i'll have to go but they, they're peeping. They peep a lot. They talk a lot. Right now they're in a playpen out there. <laughs> Have geese will travel. That's funny. But they're adorable and they're so soft. They haven't got their pin feathers yet, but they're so soft. Oh my gosh. Just adorable. What am I going to use this extra resin for? I'm asking myself now. Oh, well... I wanted to do a deep pour with my dad's roses and uh, there's not quite enough left to cover the base of the mold I want to use. I'll have to see what I can get rid of that green. Get in there cover you up. Add a couple more there and press them down. Oh, I'm excited about this. Oh. And if you try it at home, please let me know. And if you did something different, let me know. I'd love to see photos. You can email me photos of your artwork. I'd love to see it. Oh my goodness, in my Halloween tray that I had just posted last week, I was just showing a picture of it to a gal and she bought it outright. So, whew, 
That was lucky. So it's gone. All right. That's in there pretty tight. Bubbles have no way of escaping now. Piece of green is bothering me. Get in there. I'll cover you up. Go on, go on, go on. Well, that's about it. Now, gosh, today's Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Ooh, I've got a gig Saturday night. Well, I'm going to try to get this revealed and posted for you Sunday. Forgive me if it's a little late, but I will do my best. Okay, I'm just going to drizzle a little bit on here, set those in. Come right to the top. Oh, gosh. Gonna be so cool. Cross your fingers for me. <laughs> Whoops, I'm sorry I hit you there. And we're right too. Well, I guess the rim is down there, the bottom of the bag, but that's all right. Going as high as I can. Oh, that was a big bubble. Oh, yeah. Coming in from this corner over here. All right. This one. This sure is nice resin. Not a bubble in it this morning, and my room is not, not all that warm. I think that's plenty, or we're going to go over. Okay, everyone, I'm going to call that good. Try to figure out what to do with my leftover resin here. And uh, I'll watch for bubbles, and I will see you when we're ready to reveal this. So take good care of yourselves. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like button, and my supplies are listed in my Amazon shop. So take good care, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Hi everyone, it's Billy. Uh, welcome back. I have to uh, apologize. I demolded the bottle last night. I couldn't stand it. I, I knew I had gone too crazy with the colors and the molds were looking darker and darker and darker. I thought, oh my God, I really messed this one up. And then I thought, my gosh, how could I do something so beautiful one week and the next week just not even thinking, do something that really ugh, didn't turn out like I wanted it to. I was in a hurry. I was using thin resin, which I didn't even think about as far as my colors went. But I did unmold the bottle, and here it is. <laughs> Ta-da! All right, I have a flashlight here, and I'm just going to put it on the butt end of that, but you can't really see... There's, you know, it's definitely dark, and there is my fish. He is showing through, but definitely I messed this one up. Without the light, look how dark it is. But, uh, I don't know, if we come from the top, what's that do? If we come from the top. Anyway, I wanted that effect, but not that dark. So, there you have it. Billy got carried away so 
looking at this one, I'm thinking, oh, this one's probably the same, but let's go ahead and demold this bag. Maybe the resin gods were in favor, in my favor, I'm not sure. I'll just kind of loosen this and I'll get some ibuprofen alcohol down here and see if we can't loosen this up. But, yep, I, I like it. It's spooky, but I think I might need to light it up somehow. Maybe get some of those little um, wooden stands with the, the lights in them to where, you know, it can light up from the bottom. I'm not sure, but big mistake on my part. So I'm a little disappointed. I'm very much disappointed, but I had to try it. Try it my way. It was an experiment, so now I know if I do these again for next year, I'm not going to get that carried away with color. So, here we go. Oh, that slides out nice. I see the moss. Oh, how do we get it off of this tip? Come on, you. Oh, there's the little top of the bag. Mm. Oh my gosh, how do we do this? It's big with a little hole. I don't want to bugger it up. I can squeeze some more alcohol in there. Let's see. Oh, come on, get out of there. Oh, what's the secret to getting this out? Go to an angle. Here we go. Maybe. Give me some minute. Ugh. All right. All right. Well, it's definitely clear. No bubbles. I do like the resin. So here's backside. Let's see if we can find our little fish. Oh, there he is. There he is. But yes, definitely missed up. Let's put the light under it. Or on it. There you go. Didn't need to keep this under a light or something, but you know my intention. It was there. So, anyway, they're demolded, and I might get this out late Sunday because I'm, I've am i got to get ready for a gig right now, and I'll have to stay up late and edit this video, but there we are. There's our little ghost fish. I might tie a little something on the top and wrap some, wrap some black cord around there, maybe and uh, see if I can't doctor them up a little bit. So, please try this if you want to, but don't use so much ink or colorant as I did. Anyway, I've got to run. Thank you for watching. Everyone have a great day. I will see you soon, and we'll start on fall and Christmas ornaments, okay? Take good care. Bye. Battle's eyes. Look at these babies visiting me today. They got the pool. God, they're cute. Oh, wait a way. Oh, my goodness. Look at you. Get back in the water. I want to see you swim. You get in there. Get in there. No? That's squeal. <laughs> what are you doing? Jump in there. Aren't they cute? Oh, yeah, oh my goodness. Yeah, they'll probably kick under the water here in a minute. Highlight of my day. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty fun. Look at you. Oh, that's a <laughs> the good one, one stuck his wings out and dipped his head in earlier. It's cute. They are cute. All righty, I'm gonna share this with my people. Absolutely. So cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs>